Hello guys, this is Chubadeep. Welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial, we will see how we can get the last date of sales to the customers. So if I running a company, so I want to see my products. What is the last date of sales to each and every customers? Okay. So how we can get it by DAX? So let's see it. Okay. So here you can see in this table. Uh, I created uh, I took customer name okay and last date sales to the customer so it is I created by it uh, I created it by a DAX function okay let's see so for for this uh, first of all I took a variable okay so I, I will make a separate video what is variable how you can use it to get the simplified information to get the dex complicated dex functions in a simple way okay so first of all i created a variable uh, c name you can give any other name okay so then selected value selected value which selected value uh, it will take customer name from the order table so in the previous tutorial we have seen the selected value what it does it takes single value okay it takes a single value and returns it then, um, by this by this variable we are taking a single customer value okay then i have written return what it will return it will return max x filter then orders from the order table customer name so what is actually meaning it actually means uh from this order table okay from this order table get the customer name okay get the customer name which is equals to c name from the order table get the customer name which customer name selected value selected okay then it will be filtered from the whole customer name column okay if i if i am taking this name okay if i want to get this name then it will filter all the customer name when it will go when it will uh, get this name it will return okay then maxis what maxis does uh, if i take uh, the microsoft document the expression is it evaluates an expression for each row of a table and returns the largest value so maxis what maxis does maxis goes row by row okay maxis goes row by row and when it gets the largest value it returns then orders of order date so what max is doing max is going row by row and taking what is the maximum order date what is the maximum order date okay so then if uh, when max is getting the maximum order date means the largest order date means the last value of the order date okay so when it is getting the last order date value then it filters the selected name it filters the selected customer name from the selected value okay so from this expression we are getting the filtered customer name then the last order date of that customer okay it is returning that okay so if i run this i will get the last date of every customer okay the last date of every customer so you can see it here again i am explaining it so what is happening first of all i used a variable called customer name c name it is taking the selected value what selected value is doing selected value is choosing a selected value then returning it okay it has no other work okay then 
it is returning what it is going to maxis so maxis what is doing it is going row by row for the order date table for the order date column so when it is getting the maximum order date means the last order date of which the customer name it is getting by it is filtering the customer name and when it is getting when the filtered customer name is equals to this selected value customer name it will returning the last order date of that customer okay then it is returning then it is returning the uh, value okay so it is the a result we are getting here okay so like this we can get every last order date of the customers okay so i think this tutorial is uh, you you got understand what i am trying to say in this tutorial okay so if you like this tutorial if you like my videos so subscribe my channel or support my channel uh, it will help me a lot okay thank you